In order for us to sell solar winter watering systems, we had to come up with a way that water wouldn't freeze. And we now have two inventions out for watering cattle in the winter time in a pasture situation with no power using solar and wind power. And this particular installation here uses a motion eye to run a pump. The water is always at seven feet below the frost line. When the cows come up to drink, a motion eye picks up the cows and fills the bowl with water. The cows drink, and as soon as the cows are finished drinking, they leave and the pump shuts off and, and nothing freezes. We have a, a, uh, an Air X wind machine on top of the post there, and one of the problems with the winter is there are periods with lack of sunshine, like today. And generally speaking, when there's no sun, there's wind. And of the 100 systems we got out that are solar and wind power, I don't think we've ever had one go down because of lack of power. It's been a really good system for us. I've had so many farmers tell me it's the best system they've ever seen or used. So we've, we've pioneered this and, uh, boy, we've got a lot of systems out of it. It's, you have to trench in from the, from the casing there. That's a 36-inch casing. You have to dry, dig in a line from the pond that we have here, the dugout, down as steep as your dugout is. So it's probably 14 feet in the ground. And we attach it to the culvert. And then you're set for life because you always have water that's, never, that's going to be open. A lot of farmers go out to their dugout every day and chop holes in the ice. And every winter in Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Manitoba, there's probably a thousand animals died because they've broken through the ice and drowned. You also improve the quality of the water in the dugout for summertime. There's no manure in it. And uh, boy, no manure. You pump the water from the pond, your cattle are healthier and they put on more weight. The PFRA have stated that there's a 200 to 300 day payback on a solar pump. That's so much more weight thinking. This is our insulated battery box and I'm just uh, lifting the lid off it and you'll notice that we have styrofoam uh, top and bottom all around the box. The motion eye works off the batteries as well as the as well as the pump. We have a regulator here which prevents the batteries from being overcharged uh, mostly in the spring and fall when there's lots more sun and we also have a low voltage disconnect if these batteries should run out of power it'll shut them down and prevent them from freezing and then they'll turn on again when the charge is there both the wind machine and the solar system comes in and charges the battery I've been doing this for over 20 years and I learned a lot and every year I learn more and so we offer the best service in the country.